Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about the problem 10 and chapter 3. In this one, we know three vectors in this picture. And we need to find the magnitude and the duration for these three vectors. So first thing we can say, when we want to do addition for the three vectors, the sum, we want to get the sum of three vectors. So uh, add these three vectors together. Also, the most easy way is to split the vectors in x component and y component because we know its magnitude and duration, so that will be easy. For a, we can project it in x component. This is ax, right? And then project it in the y component here. So for b, similarly, we project it in the y component in the x component. And C, because it is still in the negative y direction, so we don't need to do anything. In this one, first thing we project is a component at x component. So this is ax is 44 times cosine theta. And then ay is 44 sine theta. So ay is this, this one, this one, this one, in this triangle, 44 sine theta. And then bx is there, is there, we must take care about this negative side. Because when we project the B in the S component, it yeah, has the negative direction there. So negative sign, so the B cosine theta, this one. And then BY is a, a B times sine theta. And the C. When we consider the C, CX is zero because the C is at the direction. So the, it is uh, from there to there, it is uh, 270 degree and then is pointing to the negative direction, so negative 31 direction. In this one, first thing we need to add these three vectors together. When we do addition for vectors, we add the vectors at x component and a y component. Do you agree? Yes. So we add them as the x component together as a y component together. The addition for these three vectors is in this uh, two result, two component. And then we can get its magnitude for this addition, just x component squared plus y component squared and squared. And the arc tang theta and angle theta is arctangent v1 divided by vx. Thank you.